Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Alpha Bio Omega and Empire of Japan. So in the last episode we've ended with introducing two new tanks to our equation, the Type 1 and Type 2, uh, which we have put into production. Uh, type 2 is a close support tank, so this one will need to, uh, you know, get from the ground once we get more factories for it, uh, but we'll make it happen. And I actually wanted to check what we need for uh, the next thing. So we need a Type 3 chassis, and this is not a cool support tank, it's actually an upgrade to it, I think. Medium tank. Yeah, okay, so that would work. What could we get here for tank destroyers or assault gun? We would need the Type 97 superstructure. Okay, I guess that can be achieved, and for this one we need Type 2 chassis and a special gun, because these are amphibious tanks. Um, we have the research available here, so let me see what we can do. We have started already working on the carrier fighter, so that's not an issue. Type 3 chassis is actually available to us, but we want the Type 97 superstructure so that we can get the assault gun. Right. Yeah, Type 97 superstructure. So let's get working on that because the assault guns would do us well in more than one occasion. Uh, there's a naval gun here. Okay, and this is an AA. Yeah, and we need to start looking at the ammunition soon too because that is going to boost our efficiency quite significantly. But for now, Type 97 in uh, superstructure. Okay, and um, we have sank some free Soviet convoys here and some eight of them over there. But I wanted to start this episode by actually looking at the casualties and balance of forces. So you can see that it's tilting more and more towards our favor. We lost 4.28 million. Our casualties are actually rising significantly because we have been involved in some heavy fighting in... India, uh, while well, the enemy is almost at 14 million in casualties. Soviet Union is 85% of its capitulation, so they inched down again, but they lost 5.45 million troops and 346,000 to us. Cool, cool. United States lost 2.52 million, 1.5 million troops to us. They are 0% of its capitulation, and not surprising. Canada, India, nothing here really matters. German Reich lost 2.41 million troops at this point. 1.7 million to the Soviets, so the fight here is far from being lost, and I feel like they're moving... forward, but they might not. It's a bit weird, really. I'm thinking whether or not we should save Finland, because I have a feeling that Finland might just give up. But I mean, that's not our prerogative. The Germans should do that. The fact that they're not doing that is driving me a little bit insane, but okay. Uh, we're trying to fix our aluminum situation. Uh, it's looking better at this point. Military parade in central Mongolia. Okay, well, not exactly what we want. Okay, our units are actually attacking here. Pushing the Soviets back. Might have been a good idea to encircle them here because they cannot retreat anywhere. They can't retreat to Tibet. So let's send you over there instead. And I feel like 
we might do better if we actually move over here and try for the encirclement. Okay, let's try to do it this way. Did you arrive? Still not yet. Okay. You guys are working on this encirclement. Okay, our tanks are moving south. You guys are advancing. So this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. Now, how's our situation over here? Did we reinforce some of the units? Not really. Well, the supply here is... Okay, you are motorized, so there is no problem with that. And the advance in this area shouldn't be all that hard. And we get actually... Bhutan is... Uh, neutral, right? No, it is not. Okay, so if we could make up for Bhutan and encircle these units, that would be pretty good. A breakthrough in here sounds like a good possibility, though it would be really bloody. Uh, but it should be possible. We have the positions for that, so we'll look into that. So let me see. Uh, it's going to be really complicated to pull off, though. Uh, but okay, I can let you guys plan. Put you guys over here and what you plan. Put you guys here and what you plan. God damn it, it's gonna be complicated as hell. <laughs> you see what I mean? But we'll have you guys planning like this. Because we'll need literally every single bonus we can get in here. Okay, and we don't have you guys planning yet, right? Okay, why the Oh no, no, this was the same one. So we have the 12th and 9th. And who else is here? 12th, 14th, okay. 14th can also plan. Let us plan this properly so that we don't sacrifice any more troops. And 13th. I don't really care about the execution, I just want to give them the planning bonus. Because this is going to be awful. We're going to attack these three areas at the very same time. So the tank army first. Uh, you guys. Oh, you're already here and you're already planning, so that is fine. Okay, I just want you guys planning an attack here. Okay, you're all the same army, and you guys here are of, of course you're of three armies, why wouldn't you be? Okay, I'm going to attack over here, and the last unit is you, and you attack here. Okay, so now you will rest and have a nice day while we wait. Oh, 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 yes! The Junio and Shokaku 
are done. Full equipped with carrier bombers and carrier fighters. So you two, my lovelies, will join the first fleet. And the first fleet is going to say goodbye to whom? The Zuihas of the Ryujo and Hosho. So you got 35, you got 30. Okay, I guess the Zuihos might be the ones, to, but you got bomber. No, you got also bombers. 555, 30, 35. Yeah, I believe the Ryujo and Hosho. Oh, I got actually 25. Okay, no, let's do it this way. We're gonna send uh, Yujo and Hosho to the second and third fleet because they got no carriers who keep the Zuihos because they are standardized in the first fleet. And we'll have you joined by the first Kantai. This is a major thing for us. And we finished three new submarines. Amazing. And you guys are hunting here just killing everyone, which is amazing. The mine layers are also working heavily. Construction 5, and we wanted to send you the Tenryus, but it's gonna take a while. Okay, so with Construction 4, we actually are... Yeah, we need to start getting the housing done. Because that will allow us to get extra 0.4.6% of population. And that is a big thing for us. So let us start working on that. I don't think there's anything else that we need too much now. You are... Oh, okay. So let's not bother with that. Let's bother with automated assembly lines, <laughs> which will give us half a percent right of the bat. And then we're going to do the rest. Good on you. And how's the naval production going? What do we have here? Yamato's almost done. Hiroshima's being worked on. Upgraded submarines and we're upgrading the mommies and the submarines. Okay, so that still gives us a little bit of time. In about a day, we can upgrade the Tenryus. Uh, three of you are. Oh, dear lord. Okay, hold on. Let's do this again. The way it's supposed to be done. Okay, now we're scoring a bit of a... Yeah, I mean... Our camera divisions should definitely get a little bit of a boost. Can we motorize them more? How many transport trucks do we have? 1.8 thousand. It's not really enough. We did this. But no, we do have enough. And that would actually help. Okay, it would mean that we... This would mean that we lose a bit on... What else could you get? You have the anti-tank. Combat engineers would help significantly. Hell's Forest Jungle Marshes... I mean, only in those specific areas, though. Hmm. But I'm thinking there might be a little bit of trick here that we could get. Yep, 
Okay, so I can mechanize our Centuriodons, and that means we will get back enough to motorize you. Definitely. And I think let's add the combat engineers here. No, the motorized ones. And can we motorize the logistic company? And you also need to be motorized. Or mechanized. Defense. Oh, and we... Okay, well that's funny. That's... Car, but... Wow, what is... Oh, it's... God damn it, I'm stupid. <laughs> it's... Yeah, the cavalry has a speed of 5.4. Why, why didn't I realize that? Yeah, okay, but let's still semi motorize you. And can we give you the white anti tank? Yeah, okay, that will help against the tanks significantly. Oh, we don't have enough food. Enough anti tank, okay. Okay, let's do it like this. You're gonna get a little bit of love from the headquarters. Now you guys are slowly replenishing your forces after all that bloodshed. Uh, maintenance company free. That is amazing. That helps us with reliability. Now let's get fuel the hospital because that increases the trickle back and we need to get as many people back as possible. Surgery is among the most common emergency procedures needed in the field. Procedures and tools for this must be available closer to the front and we must ensure that skilled surgeons are part of the medical units. Yeah, we're down to 41,000 men in reserve. So not exactly... Okay, this is, this is not gonna happen. And the fact that I didn't realize that before just tells you I'm a hopeless optimist. Oh well. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking good, the answer command here is also looking good. You guys need to move in here. You guys need to... Wait, what? Okay, so you move in here and you move in here. How's our... Division is over here. Still moving, okay. So we're going to move them very soon. Cool, Navy. What are you doing? Drilling. You are fighting. Sinking. Oh, really nice. You are doing what? Nothing. Okay, more of you are available now, which is great. I'm gonna assign you to the fleets, and you now have carriers. You now have carriers, which is awesome. You'd probably be happier if they had only fighters, but yeah, I think it's still fine. Manchuka wants to send us something. Mountain artillery. Wait, are we short on mountain artillery? We are, and on the heavy artillery. Heavy artillery is not surprising, but mountain artillery actually is. So we started producing the coal support tanks. And let us actually go around and see if we can save some factories. So we can save one over here. We can save one over here. We have a ton of handheld. Jungle Warfare, that's fine. Mountain Warfare. 
Okay, well, that's fine. Radio. How many radios do we have? That might be excessive already. Six and a half thousand, definitely. So let's kill those. Amphibious warfare equipment can chill. Camera is fine. Anti air. Infantry guns can chill. Okay, let me put two more on anti tank. Four more on mountain artillery. Two more on light artillery. And that leaves two more for close support tanks. Okay, and we have an excessive amount of carrier fighters. So let's save those and put them on Navy Bombers. Okay, so a little bit of change here and there. But I believe it's for the best. So you guys are still drilling, huh? Trend recruits. And well, doesn't matter. Why don't we get more mountainers, more... Oh, hey! Did I forget about the Marines? No, okay, I didn't. <laughs> it was actually on point. And you guys will just move on from here today. No, actually you won't. That's beyond our range now. Okay, let's embargo Ireland. Okay, you can go over there and take this area which you forgot. Oh, here's Guadalcanal. Okay, construction polymer. Oh, I'm gonna get a new military factory. So let's put it on the core support tanks as well. So construction polymers leads to general plastics, which will increase factor output by 4%. I'm working on the aluminum, so that is fine. Uh, we are a little bit dangerous on the power. So let me just go with the high voltage grid first and then we're gonna go with the polymers. And let me actually also build a couple of power plants. Let's say four. Let's put one over here immediately or one over here okay this looks fine which actually reminds me let us revisit the occupied territories so the China is fine you guys are still being a nuisance you guys are doing slightly better Civilian oversight, local police force. Okay, the military governor in the Philippines actually helped. The resistance is slowly dropping and the compliance is still up. Getting a little bit more iron. Yeah, not, not too crazy, but we are getting what we need. So that's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what's on here you're supposed to go there together okay, you guys are still reinforcing it's gonna take a while uh, but if we can get you and they're acting according to the battle plan Which is 
really stupid, but yeah, it's a mountain. Uh, but we're still pushing, so let's send you in there. Have you take it, and then they will be able to attack here even more efficiently. Okay, my lovelies. We've encircled yet another division over here. So let us take advantage of that and destroy. You guys can go over here. And because there are you over there, we can take this area. Okay, our tanks are advancing. Yet another division. Destroyed over here. Yeah, we're causing them ugly casualties by being ruthless with our encirclement operations. Okay, you guys are moving, so that's good. Yeah, we're taking the entire Far East. I don't like it if you could just get Kubishev, that would, I think, help a lot with them giving up. 85%, my god. Okay, Marines, how are you doing? Okay, you can execute this, so go. And once we get you guys done with this, I can go to Rabal, and all six divisions are gonna lead an attack on the Gilbert Islands over here. Okay, let's see how this is gonna go. Yep, we're winning. So this is gonna be an elimination of the enemy. Good. But yeah, it takes a bit more oomph to do that. Okay, move in here. And we'll send you back home. Goodbye, the 200... 22nd Explorers Division and goodbye the 31st Sunset Division. And we'll attack Tarawa next. Okay, direct show casting. Let us see what the effect is. I think that increases the aluminum output, doesn't it? And increases the energy demand. Yep, production output demand and needed was bauxite and refinery construction speed increased. Okay, so let's just try it like so. Yep, it changed significantly. Cool, so we saved a couple more factories. Happy, 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 happy. Are we still working? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna get this box it. Now, actually, awesome. So, another batch can be let go. Okay, you guys did it. And what we need to do now is all of you will invade from here to Tarava. All of you, meaning even you guys. Where are you? Over here, you're in the bow. Okay, why don't you go cancel the one at least? It's fine. The 1944 Great Atlantic Hurricane. On the 9th of September 1944, the northeast coast of the United States experienced a series of hurricanes. Three to 400 fatalities were estimated and the era suffered 100 million worth of damage in United States dollars. Okay, sink some cruisers. Okay, you guys are drilling and you will reinforce our fleets very soon. Okay, you need to get... In... Wait, there is a port, right? Yes. 
you need to get in there and okay well we can now upgrade the thunder use uh yep the thunder use so thunder you thunder you thunder you over here you will get extra mining extra heavy anti-air and better damage control you can do a little bit more so this one will give you extra point three point seven oh okay so we can do all of them so this is gonna be Tender you wait nineteen forty four tenu tender you refit or ten you class refit to be precise. So you can now go and upgrade. So it's gonna take six. Okay, and we're still missing a little bit. So I think we can build another Kaidai here until we can do something more. Good, good, good. So we get in there. I think our six divisions will be enough to do that, but we'll see. Okay, another military factor of one. Let's put that one on mountain artillery because we have been a little bit short on that one. And we still are. Well, there goes the idea of encirclement. The game has decided against it, but I guess that's what I get for having battle plan planned by the AI. Oh well. You guys are gone. You guys can advance. This division is gone. Yeah, we can continue advancing. Nothing is really stopping us. Okay, and you are here. So that means these... Okay, you two will go over there. You two will go over there. You two will go over there. You go over there. there and you three will go over here. Over here. And we'll pull you. And. How are you? Okay, we don't really need you over here anymore. So let's send you express over there. Rail. Rail. And I'm gonna take these provinces and I'm gonna send you next. Okay, and you finished the naval doctrine. Which was the convoy sailing? Yep, helps. So, uh, destroys extra torpedo attack and organization. Advanced submarine torpedo attack tactics. Submarine attack increased. Uh, 120 days. What about this one? Organization, surface detection, sub-detection, naval attack from carriers. Yeah, let's get this one. Advanced carrier operations. So we get the naval attack from carriers plus 10%. They are targeting plus 5. Agility plus 10. And all carriers get surface detection and sub-detection plus 5%. Lowered surface visibility by 1% and organization plus 5. Sounds about right. Okay. With that said, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, we've advanced everywhere. 
with the exception of Canada. Uh, well, I mean Canada, like... Well, that's not Canada, that's Raj, and we're fighting Americans. I don't know why I fought with the Canadians. Because they're not even here. But our units are slowly reinforcing, are they? I think we might be running out of manpower here. Yeah, we're delivering equipment. And we already don't have enough manpower. Okay, we'll need to change our... Yeah, we'll need to change to a freer draft soon. Or go slightly higher on the bracket. But yeah, we're starting to see some really big issues here. Yeah, recovery rate, composition speed, experience losses. Uh, yeah, that's why I don't like to go too high. 100. We also don't have enough political power, so we'll need to wait for that. Cool. Well, at least we know. Anyway, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next episode.